Okay, hello my friend and how are you doing? And next I am planning to show you that what are the most common issues in ABS system if we have this ABS file like on. Okay, and here we can see that most, most common issue is this APS sensor issues and there is now that I have two feel away and there is this my feel and this area is the most common and there is this sensor and this part in here this is APS sensor and we can replace that sensor so that there is small bolt in in here that we remove that bolt and then we can take that sensor out and like in that car there is this cable that goes into the inner and behind that panel there is this connector point connect and normally when we replace these sensors then this ABS system start to work and then check that this sensor is just in very secure way in here in that way look that it is it is there there is when, when we look that area in here that it is very tight this contact joint is very cool in like in here look that way is because if this this uh, sensor is loosened then this APS system uh, gives error message this is common issue and it must be in that position and then sometimes this sensor is so dirty that we need to take that away and clean that and sometimes this sensors APS this opposite opposite this another part in drive shaft it is too dirty and we need to clean that and then we go to look that that drive shaft sensor part next Okay, and here we have this drive shaft. It looks like that. And there, this part goes to this brake disc, inner disc, brake disc, and uh, bearing area. And there is this drive shaft, and there is drive shaft axle joint. And in that part, what now I am touching, this is this APS, APS sensor field. And look. This area must be in so clean like in here. And there are those small holes in here. And that's, it is important to check that we have similar this quality like in here. Look, those dents are deep. And then when I, I touch this, I take small tool. Look, there is my bolt. That this bolt must be go in there deeper. They are like one millimeter deep holes in there and this is the important thing check that your this wheel is all time in that direction this is like contact point to this APS sensor what was in this front wheel so let's go to look because the sensor is sending data to those holes and this is the idea interesting Okay, and here is then this sensor, and this sensor sends information to this drive shaft, this uh, this feel what we watch it, what we check it about before, and, and there are, there are two parts, the sensor and then this drive shaft holes. Okay, and then what else issues we have in this our ABS system? Of course. We need to check always that this all of our cables they are in good connection in here and then this connect points if we have APS error like in uh, some car might have there is this electric cable and, the, and behind this plastic box in here there is connect, connector point in here inside if we like to replace that sensor and that point can be also loosened and there is disconnection. And this is good to check. And then of course when we are checking our ABS errors, always when we have this brake, uh, brake pedal, this compression point, we need to check that we have enough 
this brake fluid, because this thing can also generate ABS error if this tank is empty. And then, if we still need to investigate what is wrong, we need to check all of these ABS brake cables, that they are okay, like in my car. And then, of course, if we have checked all other things, we have one big thing to check, and this is this ABS pump. And I have, I have heard that in some cars, this has been went broken, and this is really hydraulic compressor, and there are cylinders, and this part controls all this brake fluid thing, and if there is any issues, it is there is electric connectors, it sends er error message to our car's dashboard. And then, of course, we have ABS relays. We need to check that are these are relays okay. Like in, in here, there are two relays. But in normally, if you have this high quality Toyota car, these things are really robust. And that's this Toyota is so good. And, and then we need to also check that are these our car's fuses okay. And there is ABS fuse in that position, and that means that we need to check also that is this my fuse okay or broken, if we have this ABS light on. Okay, and then what else? We need to check those sensors in all of our fears, in this front area and also in rear area. Remember, there is sensor in every field. Okay. And then, if we have checked all of these things, and we have replaced all of these parts, and we have still issue that we have this ABS warning light on, then we need to do some big check and replace. We need to go in here inside, cabin area, and then we need to take this, our car's cabin, these panels and covers away, like I have made, and then we need to find in here this cars, this computer, ECU unit. And in here we can find this electric computer unit and software, and there are parts in here, it is like hidden a little bit in here, and also in just in the central area when we have this gear stick. It is just in inner of this console box. There are those electric computer units. And we might need to replace this car's ECU unit. And it is like small computer. But normally those other things are okay, but be ready that computer is also damaged. Because every APS system calculation happens in this car's central computer. Okay, that kind of information, and I hope that you, you get some more information to your knowledge. And see you in next movie.